Hello everybody, it's me, Alex Ram 1313. Today I'm gonna show you how to fake your iOS firmware version. Why would you do this? Can't you just download the latest iOS firmware? Yeah, you could. What if you have an out of date device? Like in my case, I have an iPod Touch second generation. The highest firmware it supports is 4.2.1. A lot of apps don't support that, they support greater, like 4.3 or iOS 5. And I miss out on a lot of things. And if you also have an out of date device, you too. So today I'm going to show you how to make your device think you have a greater uh, firmware number. So, first off, you're going to need to jailbreak your iPod, iOS device, whatever you have. Go ahead and jailbreak that. Oh, wait. Okay. You could just pause the video. Anyway. Next, you want to set up SSH. I have a video on that. I'll post a link in the description if I still have it. Next thing, you want to open up your WinSAP or your SSH program if you have a Mac, whatever you have. Make sure your iPod or iPhone, whatever iOS device you have, is turned on. Make sure Wi-Fi is on. Now you want to set that up. Hold on. Alright, so I'm in here. Uh, you want to go to the very first parent folder so you should go into the root folder go into system go into library go into core services and you want to edit system version .plist. it's an xml file if you're familiar with xml good for you you can change all this under string or these strings the bottom string is going to be where your ios firmware number is i've already gone ahead and and uh, I've done this for tutorial purposes just to test out it still works but yeah it does I'm on 5.0.1 that's old that's what my I uh, my iPod thinks really I'm on 3.1.3 .3 on the white door uh, uh, jailbreak so you can change this to whatever you want uh, let's change it to I don't know 4.2.1 I don't know. 4.2.1. There you go. Actually, no. You can use 4.3. Alright, you should save. If you save your iPod information into WinSCP, it's gonna ask you for your password. It's not gonna ask you for that. It's gonna ask you for your password, not to change your your color scheme. So you can close out of that. Close out of WinSCP. Now, in your settings, or It'll show up on iTunes too if you have connected. Go into general, go into about, and to see if it worked, you should see a different number under version. So I'm gonna take a screenshot right now to my iPod and show you. And it should be on the screen right now. So that's how to fake your iOS version. So uh, hope this helps. Hope it works. And uh, please subscribe. Wait. Please note that by doing this, you won't be able to use the the Apple App Store directly on your iPod and you're going to have to use it on your uh, iTunes on the computer. So just to let you know, do this at your own risk. And now, hope this helps. Please subscribe.